Hello, this is Ron back here on Ron Brown's YouTube channel. Just a quick video today. You see I've got some of the DJI FPV drones on the table here. The, um, you know, the Avada 1, the Avada 2. But, uh, you know, I'm, I'm kind of talking about a, a subject related to these two drones. Yeah, when the Avada 1 came out, you know, it had a, a, a battery. You know, this is the battery right here for it. Uh, you know, kind of had the uh, old style plug on it. You know, it looked like something from a, you know, real FPV drone. Um, and then the Avada 2 came out, you know, much uh, thinner design. Here is a battery for the Avada 2, you know, kind of thinner, you know, a kind of a standard connector in the back there. But uh, one of the beauties of this new uh, battery system for the Avada 2 is that um, uh, it came in this little type of hub. This came with like a little thin like strip you plug the batteries into. Now, some people said that was an advantage because uh, you could charge four batteries at the same time or this one you're going to do uh, three batteries at the same time in the hub but um you know one of the advantages you get this hub which is easier to travel with or whatever keep the batteries in the hub when you travel i guess you can look at that any any way you want to but what i'm getting to here is the point of the video get, trying to get to the point quickly here is that uh, this uh, charging uh, hub here kind of stole a trick that the dji air 3 introduced uh last year in uh, we'll say um august uh late late july august of uh 2023 that you can use this hub to recharge batteries and what i what i mean by that is of course you can use the hub to recharge batteries right but it, you could be out in the field with no access to any any power source or whatever and what can do you with all three batteries in the hub it can take the leftover power from say two batteries and put it on the battery that it still has the most charge left on it so you can probably get another flight out you know uh you know from three used batteries um you know out in the field again where you have no uh, source to um no way to power them up so uh what you do is on the front here i hope you can see this i'm going to put it to the much as far of the camera as i can of course it has the usb-c plug where you would charge it into a a wall outlet if you had or one of those nice uh you know uh charging stations that a lot of people have that they take with them out in the field when they're flying drones but if this is all you have with you and all your batteries are uh, somewhat depleted you have a button right here so you push that button kind of just like you do when you power up a dji drone you push it once and then twice and hold and that'll put it into the mode where it, uh, you know, charges, uh, takes the, the power from the two lowest batteries and moves it to the uh, the battery that has the most. Now, I, I cannot show you here on the video because I already did it. You know, I did it a few minutes ago and I was really pleased. It didn't take long at all um, to, to do that, uh, well, you know we'll say a, a half hour but that that could always vary to depend on how, how much you know charge you need to move around but in this case it took about a half hour to uh put all those see this is this one uh this one okay this is the one that moved all the power to the middle one and now this this one is kind of full has four bars and kind of fully charged so you, i can go another flight with it even though the other two like i said this one's uh this one's kind of one and blinking and this one's just i mean this one's kind of you know two blinking and this is one blinking so these two probably don't have enough to do anything with it where they, they move this and now i said maybe i can get a full flight out of this one so that's a great advantage of um you know uh, uh this drone nevada 2 over the Nevada one uh you know now again uh, i i know you can charge more if you if you have one of those charging stations in the field or whatever you know then you know, maybe this isn't a big advantage of so like me i don't go around with a you know a, a you know 30 pound charging station in the back of my car with me wherever i go so uh something like this is, is much more handy to somebody like me who tries to stay light you know light and very mobile when i'm out in the field you know uh running and gun and getting video and, and so on photo photos video and so on so this is this is more of a solution for me so again try just try it out again the same thing you just put them all in just like you're starting to drop a, a, a quick a quick press and then a long tap and i'll put it into that mode so um yeah e easy as can be right so okay that's a, a short video today i hope this you know we'll call this the tip of the tip of the day here you know drone video tip of the day they get you going if you have the um you know the avadas and uh, i'm also working on a, a video comparison between to see which camera is better the avada one and the avada two of course the avada two has better specs 
on paper it's better but see how how it compares to the field how much better is it really in a side it's kind of a side by side test out in the field so that's the next video coming you know and uh, that video will be um you know, over you know over here or over here so make sure you click on that and uh, we will see it in the next video folks